Okay, so I'm not going to do a series on the JDAH trial as there are loads of sites doing a great job of providing analysis and context. It's also a bit outside my normal remit. However, I've been dipping in and out of the trial out of curiosity and this cross-examination just stood out. I've never seen anything like it. As a plaintiff's lawyer, Camille Vasquez does an extraordinary job of closing down Amber Heard's testimony. Honestly, get to the end of the video and I challenge you to explain what on earth Amber Heard was testifying about and for and what points were actually gained on her behalf. Her lawyer, to me, looks like she just gives up. It is incredible. It has been suggested by Ms. Vasquez to you in your questions that you didn't tell anyone about the abuse until the TRO. Is that true? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. All right. What if any? All right. <coughs> Who did you tell about the abuse during the time it was happening? Objection, Your Honor. Leading. That's not offered to. It's, and it's, hearsay. It's, it's, Sustained. Your Honor, it's prior consistent statement. It's, it's leading. Wednesday. It's sustained. Next question. Okay. What, if anything, did you tell to anyone about the abuse? Objection, Your Honor. Is... Hearsay. I'll sustain. Your Honor, Your Honor, may I approach That's you? That's fine. Ms. Hurd, how many people have you shared the fact of abuse prior to 2015. Objection, Your Honor. Leading how calls many? for hearsay. How many? Overruled. Huh? Roughly about 10. Okay. Can you name them? Objection, yes. Your Honor. Hearsay. I think she can, it's not offered, it's just to show that she had, that she informed people before. Their suggestion, Your Honor, can we approach, this right. is again, an approach. Now, you were asked um, whether you had consulted a medical doctor about any problems with your nose, correct? That's correct. And you indicated that you, in fact, had after the divorce, Objection correct? Objection leading. I, 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 did, did, you, did you or did you not consult an ENT after the divorce? Objection leading. Did you produce medical records to the defendants relating to this? Objection. Leading calls. Right. I'll sustain the objection. Thank you. And, and Next question. Your Honor, if we could, right. the uh, witness could be instructed not to answer until I have right. lodged my objection. Let's wait for the objection, could, please. Could we bring up Defendants Exhibit 1077? 1077. Do you recognize this document? My, my screen is black. Oh, sorry. Yes, I do. And could you tell us what it is? That's the um, what my ENT, the ears, nose, and throat doctor, um, told me was objection, my, Your Honor. Here, say all right. I'll, when there's objection, please stop Sorry, talking. talking. Thank you. All right, I'll sustain the objection as to hearsay. Okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, what if any? You were asked if you had. It, it was suggested that you had not produced this in discovery. Is that true? Or Objection, false? Your Honor. Leading. Your Honor, she and she absolutely so did it's, that. It's leading. Is it's leading? Question now. I'll sustain mm -hmm. the objection as to leading. What if anything did you do to produce medical records to the defendant to the uh, plaintiff in this case? I turned over all of my devices, and they had a um, the. Johnny's team had a third party or someone they selected as a third party go and pull all relevant documents from those devices, which I handed over. Do you know how many were handed over? 
I, I, hundreds of thousands, I believe, maybe, maybe. Objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation. Okay. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. And do you, what, if anything, did you produce to the plaintiff in connection with your consultation with an ENT specialist relating to your nose? Objection, leading, sustained. What, foundation, said, what anything, hearsay. What, what if anything, it's not the cure-all, it's sustained. When did you see an ENT specialist? 2017 or 2016 or 17. And as a result of that consultation, what did you learn about your nose? Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'm not asking her to tell what they said. No, I'll sustain the objection. What, if any, production did you make to the plaintiffs of your medical records with the ENT? Objection, Your Honor, lack of foundation. If you, only, if you only have foundation. Do you know whether the records, medical records uh, from your EMT were produced in discovery? Objection, in Your Honor, lack of foundation calls for speculation. I'm just I'm I'm asking. overruled if she knows. Thank you. Yes. Okay. And do you rec do you recall? I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, what, if anything, did the medical records reflect about your nose? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Do you have injuries to your nose? Yes. Please describe those to the jury. I have um, I'm gonna a object bunch of scar to tissue. The, I'm going to object to the extent it calls for hearsay and lack of foundation. Oh, She's overruled. An improper expert opinion. Well, we'll I, she can certainly testify to. We'll, we'll see where it goes. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I have um, a significant amount of scar tissue in my nose. Objection, Your Honor. I'll sustain the objection. What, if any, difficulty do you have breathing? Objection leading. What, if anything, and that does cure on no, it. It doesn't, but oh, I'll, I'll, I'll overrule the objection. Thank you. Do you remember the question? I have um, a significant amount of trouble breathing at night, and I have been putting off having surgery for it. Now, you were asked about December 15, 2015, and Ms. Vasquez suggested that you did not report the abuse or the injuries to Aaron Falati. Do you recall Objection, that Objection, Your Honor. Leading. Yes. I'm entitled sustain. to go into what Ms. Vasquez asked. The objection is leading. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, did you report... What, if anything, did you report to Aaron Filotti about the abuse you sustained on 12-15-2015? Objection leading and hearsay. Approach. Did you tell Nurse Filotti on 12-16-2015 about the injuries you sustained from the 12-15-2015 attack? I did. I believe I sent her pictures, too. Okay. Um, and did you text with Nurse Filotti on 12-16-2015 about the injuries that you had suffered as a result of Mr. Depp's attack on you on 12-15? Yes, she guided me through a concussion check. And did you tell Connell Cowan about the injuries you sustained. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. It's prior consistent statements. All right, I'm going to sustain the objection at this point. Next question. 
do you recall Dr. Laurel Anderson testifying that she saw two black eyes Objection, on 1217? Objection, Your Honor, leading. Mrs. Dana's leading. Okay. What, if anything, do you recall from Laurel Anderson's testimony in this case about what she observed on 12-17-2015? Objection, Your Honor. This is outside the scope of cross-examination. It's prior consistent statement. I'm going to sustain the objection. It's observations for the 12-17, the same yes. day. Sustain the objection. Next question. May, may I approach? Okay. When in December did you see Dr. Laurel Anderson? Objection, I, lack of foundation. Overrule. I saw her two days after the attack. So on what day did you see her then? Um, that would have been the 17th of December, 2016, and I told her what happened. Okay. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. And w when did you uh, see Dr. Connell Cowan? I saw him the next day, December 16th, is my best recollection. Let's jump to East Asia for a moment. Um, and we saw a number of pictures from the backless dress. Um, what, if any, motivation would you have to claim that Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back, knowing you had a backless dress. Objection, Your Honor. Um, leading. I, I think I can bring calls for speculation. It's still, it's still leading. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Why would? Why did you say that Mr. Depp was kneeling on your back in East Asia? In the closet of the hotel room in Tokyo, um, I said that because it happened to me. And it would have been much more convenient if I was making it up to not include that detail, knowing I had a backless dress and I walked a press line and got photographed. Now, we've heard testimony about Mr. Depp uh, making a total of $65 million in 2015 and 2016 from his experts. Objection, Your Honor. Why did leading? You, I haven't asked the hearsay. Question. I mean, why did you not ask for thirty-two point five million for Mr. Depp? Your Honor, leading. I said, why did you not ask? Irrelevant. I'll sustain the objection. Sustain the objection to leading. Next question. Why? Why can I just ask? Why did you not ask for thirty-two point five million for Mr. Depp? Because I don't want Often it. answered, relevance. Oh, overruled, good. Because I didn't want it. I realized that that's what I was entitled to, but I didn't want it. That's simple. The tape recording that was played that has you laughing quite a bit. Can you tell the jury what the context of that particular tape recording was? I don't really recall a whole lot about what was going on. I know we had been fighting kind of ad nauseum and in this sort of loop, if you will, and I'm doing my best to um, not show my pain. That's what I was trying to do, was trying to be tough not sure what kind of pain I was in. Okay. Now, Ms. Vasquez asked you about how you got your role in Aquaman. Could you please describe to the jury how you got your role yes. in Aquaman? I auditioned, not Johnny, I auditioned. I worked really hard and I went to where we were filming the, the first movie, Justice League. I went, I think, five or five and a half months early before filming commenced when I heard that they wanted to fire me and so I put myself in the jaw in the Jackson, your honor hearsay to stay keep it away I worked what, really what hard <laughs> I worked really hard on that and had to prove myself and I did that for even though I was only filming for six days I was there for six months just worked my butt off that's what why any, what if any role did Mr. Depp play in your getting Aquaman he tried to have me fired from it. Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. 
All right, I'll sustain his speculation. How do you know that he tried to have you fight? Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation and hearsay and lack of foundation. Founda I'm trying to lay a foundation. All right, if you lay a foundation. I saw it. I saw the emails. I saw the text. I'll sustain the objection as to hearsay. Next question. You were asked about Isaac Baruch and why he and, and that he saw no marks. What is your recollection of your interaction with Isaac Baruch during the week of May 22nd? I saw Isaac when I was coming or going, meaning I was leaving or arriving to the building. I saw him at a distance. We did not have a, a in-depth conversation, nor would we. Um, and I told him, actually, right after it happened, what his friend Objection, had done. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I don't think it's offered to prove the truth of the matter you've asserted. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Stay away from what was said. Can you just tell us what, what interaction you had with him and, and his opportunity to observe you with absolutely no makeup? Objection, That's Your impossible. Honor. Leading. I'll sustain the objection. It's leading. Please describe for the jury your interaction with Isaac Baruch during the week of May 22nd. Well, not only did I have makeup on, but I, I did attempt to kind of let him know what happened. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. You were asked some questions about Officer Melissa Science's testimony. What, if anything, do you recall relating to Officer Melissa Science's testimony relating to your injuries? Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Your Honor said I could redirect after the cross-examination when she... What, if anything, do you recall of Officer Sines' testimony in this case relating to your injuries and the property destruction? I recall her saying that she didn't feel that my, the state I was in um, was enough of an injury to her or wasn't injury seeming to her. Okay. And what about the property damage? What, if any, interactions did you have with Alejandro Romero during the week of May 22? Oh, overruled at this point. I spoke to him. I, I just I spoke to him briefly in passing as I, he, uh, after seeing my face. If we can instruct the witness. If to you could consider. wait till after the objection, please. All right, next what, question. What did Mr. Franco do uh, on the elevator before laying his head on your shoulder? He, I'm going to touch the side of my face and responded to what he saw. We talked about the, uh, you were shown a bunch of uh, newspaper headlines and there was one in particular referring to sexual violence. Uh, what, if anything, did Mr. Waldman do to you relating to that article? Objection, Your Honor. Lack of foundation calls for speculation. What did he do to her? Unintelligible. I, I don't understand well, the question. Overruled. We'll see where it goes. Uh, he was carrying the paper that had that headline on it that he leaked and threw it at me at the UK trial. We were unfortunately sat kind of actually literally next to one another with COVID spacing in between us, and he threw the paper down at me as he sat down with that on the cover. And where was that? In the UK, at the UK trial. Objection, Your Honor. This is beyond the scope. That's not beyond the no, scope. Overruled. Thank you. Why did you tweet about the makeup and Mr. Waldman? Because he was calling me a liar and a hoaxer and that this was an elaborate hoax just to get Johnny. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Next question. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't have any more questions, Your Honor. All right. Thank you. All right. Maybe you can have a seat next to your attorney, okay? And that's it. No more on this trial from me.